Hello, veteran 021 here, welcome back, and this is Final Fantasy IV, The After Years. In the last episode, we explored the rest of the Double Road, explored Baron, and then we explored the ancient waterway, or the underground waterway, whichever waterway this is. It's a waterway, there's too many waterways in this game, and we have a new enemy here, we have a Baron Guardsman. These guys like to put many on your party. At least they did in the original game. And it yeah, looks like they still do. Ah. Uh Wow, two of them. No, I don't... Why is it... I don't want to swap rows. <laughs> you see how weak my black mage is? One hit and he's dead. Utterly pathetic. I don't think I'm going to bring him back to life after this. I think I'm just going to keep him dead. I think these uh, mages are going to be leaving our party very shortly anyways, so not going to worry about it. And it is awfully quiet here in Baron Castle, wouldn't you say? Where's the Baron Castle theme? Why is there no music playing right now? What is wrong with having music play right now? When it was all quiet and mysterious in the first game, we had music playing. Apparently Kane or Hooded Man here didn't realize that Cedor was actually Cecil and Rose's offspring. Um. Yeah, what is it? See you later, mages. the hell? Alright, so we need to find seed ore. Let's go find seed ore. Is there any items down here that we can find tucked away by these candles? Maybe by these chains over here? Maybe along the wall. Maybe there's a secret passage that they added. No, nope, I guess not. It was worth a try, though. Just 
still don't understand why there isn't any music playing in this part. Have something. Have something playing. Hell, the, the freaking Lunarium theme would be okay at this part, wouldn't it? Well, let's go to the throne room and find out what the hell is happening. No, there's no one here either. What the frick? Uh-oh. Yeah, Cecil would never be that callous toward anybody. So yeah, in case you haven't figured it out already, Cecil's mind is being controlled by some powerful force. Dun dun dun! Cedor joins the party again. Yay! Can we go talk to Cecil? Is he still up here? Okay, so Hooded Man definitely knows something's up with Cecil, so we gotta leave. We can't go that way. Alrighty. Okay. Thanks a lot. Don't question us or anything. <laughs> The Enterprise. Oh yeah, Sid's airship. Wow. The missiles are coming. <laughs> right? Isn't that the appropriate line for those emotes?
All right, and we get a band, the cross slash band. Very cool. And this cross slash band will level up in 10 battles. And it looks like the max level for this band is five. It looks like maybe all the bands have uh, five levels to them, so that's cool. All right, let's go to the Mist Cave. I got some new enemies here, bombs and gray bombs. And you know what? Might as well try that band out. Cool. I like the animation there. So the bands in this version of the game are probably going to be a lot more powerful than they were in previous versions. I like that. I like that a lot. Now you might remember from the first Final Fantasy or the original Final Fantasy that uh, the Mist Cave was a pretty small or short cave, but in this version it's going to be a little bit bigger and apparently we have somebody trying to bar our, our way here, so um, let's kick his ass. Are we going to kick his ass? That's what I thought. Ow! Holy crap! We got him! Yay! Got hit pretty hard. Gotta heal up after that. So this part of the mist cave should be very familiar and what's happening. What's going on? Steel Helm. Better than a turban. Oh, shit. So yeah, we're gonna end up exploring a new part of the Mist Cavern, huh? That's pretty cool. But, of course he can walk. He's an RPG character. We can all survive a Falls of Infinite Height. Unless you're playing Xenoblade Chronicles, and then Falls actually hurt. 
It's probably one of the few RPGs I've played where falling from a very high place and landing on the ground actually hurts your characters. Because, yeah, not too many RPGs follow that rule, you know? <laughs> Which is pretty funny. Alright, we got some new enemies here. We got an ogre and a cave naga. Ow! We get a silent bell. I believe that'll cast uh, silence on a group of enemies, perhaps. I'm getting a lag in this part. Why am I getting a lag? Or I'm getting a frame drop, frame rate drop. Which kind of sucks. Hmm. Which way do I go? I don't remember this too well, so bear with me. I right, got some more new enemies here. We got needle hogs and Eden snakes. Slash leveled up, that's cool. What the hell? Is there anything over here? Yes, there is. Wow, you know what? I don't think I ever found this uh, this room before playing this game. You know, the older version, because uh, I don't think there's any clue uh, telling you that there's a secret room in this part. So, well, maybe I did. I don't know. I can't remember. I've only played this game twice. I don't particularly remember this. Oh, that sucks. Please tell me I have Echo Herbs. Glad I bought some. All right, and in this chest we get adamantite. Wow. Interesting. That is pretty damn good. And we get mithril gloves, which, eh. I guess I could give this to uh, Hooded Man, but he's got the power armlet, which uh, raises his strength by five, which eh, is better. It is slightly better defense, but no, the power armlet is better. And Cedor's uh, gauntlets are better than that too, because they raise spirit, which again is infinitely better than uh, anything mithril, easily. These enemies are pain in the rear. Pain in the rear. 
They like to bitch slap your characters. Adam and Toit. Wow, I was not expecting that. I know you can get an Adam and Tight from the challenge dungeon. But I don't remember being able to find one in a chest in this chapter. So yeah, that's definitely different. Uh, I believe I want to go this way to check for treasure because if I keep going that underpass there, I think that's just going to lead to... Uh, well, the way out of here, I want to check for treasure. So I'll go this way first. Phoenix Downs are nice. Alright, and then in this chest we get a remedy. Nothing else? Okay, we're good to go. We can backtrack now. Oh, never mind, we got some new enemies here. We got cave bats and succubus enemies. They, these things are annoying. They like to use blood feast on you and drain your HP. They can put sap on your characters. I believe they're all weak to fire, however, uh, none of our characters, or neither of our characters here can use any fire attacks anyway, so that hardly matters. I believe the succubus absorbs lightning, although don't quote me on that. We'll find out in a second. Eh? Well, maybe, maybe they don't. Okay. I think they absorb lightning in the original Final Fantasy IV. So maybe they just changed that for this. Like we have two places we can go. I'm gonna try the uh, up door first. Hey, look at this! It's a naming way rabbit. All right, so this guy uh, we can get supplies from him. Uh, already have high potion. Uh, I'll get like one more I guess. A couple more. That'll be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and save my game and be right back. Well, I found another difference. You know that adamantite that I found earlier that I didn't remember? Well, it turns out uh, that secret room that is in the previous versions of the game, well, it has the mithril gloves there, but they added a chest. They added that chest there with the adamantite. That is brand new. That was not in the previous versions of the game. So, even before I've been to the first challenge dungeon, I already have. I already have one adamantite. So, there you go. These are going to be useful for trading for adamant equipment later on in the game. So, that's pretty awesome. And I'm going to end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy IV The After Years. In the next episode, we're going to finish up exploring the Mist Cave. And then perhaps I'll show off uh, the challenge dungeon. This is Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.